Dr. Jim Hefner here, and today we're looking at the median nerve test or the upper limb tension test for the median nerve. When we perform any upper limb tension test or any tension test in general, we're looking for three positive findings. The first one is going to be reproduction of the patient's symptoms, so it's going to be reproducing the symptoms that they came in with. Also, it's going to be a different side to side, so we're going to check Brian's left side. That needs to be different left versus right. And then finally, a very important component of neural tension is a change with a distal component. So as you'll see, we're gonna wind up various parts of his upper extremity, and I'm gonna ask if that reproduces his symptoms after every stage of the process. When performing the median nerve upper limb tension test, the order does not matter as long as we integrate all of the different components. So first of all, wrist and hand into extension, Brian, does that reproduce your symptoms? Next, shoulder depression by punching your fist down into the table. Any reproduction of symptoms there? No. Next, abduction of the shoulder to 90 degrees while providing lateral rotation. Any symptoms? No. Next, elbow extension while maintaining the other components. Yes. Okay, he has reproduction of his symptoms here. To see if the test is positive, we need to change a distal component. So I'd like you to laterally flex or rotate your head to the right. Better. Symptoms get better there? Since his symptoms improved with that position, generally lateral flexion to the opposite side should be increasing his symptoms versus decreasing. So that would not be positive neural tension. But just note, generally, lateral flexion to the left is going to decrease symptoms when we're checking the left side lateral flexion to the right should increase symptoms as replacing more stress across the neural tension or across the system.